Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here with a new review on Beauty Bakery's Yellow Flower Setting Powder. Yes, I called it Flower Setting Powder. So this is their theme on their website. They are a beauty bakery. So all of their cosmetics are themed like a bakery. So they are theming the setting powder as flower, which I think is totally cute. It's a flower bag. When you turn it around, it's going to have some baking tips. You can either use this with a brush or a beauty sponge to absorb some excess oil or just set your foundation. On the side of the packaging, it's going to say ice cream, you scream. We all scream for brownies, gelatin lip whip and eye cream this is just some of the products that they do offer on the website which I'll leave down linked below this product is made in the USA you can flip it around and find the ingredients as well as the nutrition facts that I thought that was adorable the, it is vegan gluten-free paraben free lightweight and mattifying this one. so this is how the packaging looks excuse the um, fingerprints I have fingerprints on it right now but I think it's absolutely gorgeous it has like this gold um, top on it and then it looks like it's like in the same standard uh, containers that the setting powders usually come in. And in the back, it's going to have um, how many ounces of product. It's yellow setting powder. And this does have 0 0.7 ounces of product. This is going to be a little less than the Anastasia powder. But then again, this is a little bit cheaper than the Anastasia powder. It looks like a really nice loose setting powder. I have already have... Um, when I had done my eyebrows, I put foundation, um, concealed and all that, which you guys will see. And now I'm just going to go ahead and set the powder. When you open it up, you're going to find that little uh, sifter that they usually have. And you have to take the seal off of it. I'm just going to use um, this with the damp uh, beauty blender that I was using to do my concealer like I usually do. And I want to see what kind of color it looks on me. So I'm taking it off and I'm going to sift some in the top. So that's what it looks like. The powder is a nice color. It's not too yellow and not too white, which I really like because the Ben is a little bit too yellow and the Anastasia sometimes looks a little bit too white, which isn't good, especially if you're my tone or darker. That leaves like such a gold cast. So I'm just going to um, put my... Uh, dampen beauty blender in there and then apply it like I normally would. Okay, so it's like really finely milled, which I like because that's not gonna um look all chalky. It's gonna set in nice and smooth. And the setting color is really nice. It's so enticing, like this. I'm gonna make it my bitch. Um, under this lighting, it looks okay. Uh, it doesn't look too ghostly, and then I still need to set it too, like uh, with the setting spray, which always helps blend everything in. I do like to get this on my eyebrows, it's just set my eyebrows as well. I do want to bake a little bit while I set my eyeshadow, um, or complete my eyeshadow, set my eyeshadow, what the hell, I haven't even started. So once I set my eyeshadow or complete my eyeshadow look, um, I'll go ahead and remove the baking powder. If you guys um, like how the uh, makeup look looks when I'm complete with it, then you guys are welcome to check it out. I'll leave a link right here. The price for this setting powder is going to be right here as well because there are two different prices if you're paying on Coat Beauty or you're paying on their website. I'm not sure if they have restocked. I'll leave that uh, link to... Um, beauty bakery down below. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on this uh, setting powder. Okay, so as for the setting powder, I am actually really happy with the setting powder. I was pleasantly surprised considering that this is actually cheaper and it's gonna save me a little bit of money and it looks really amazing. It's so finely milled that it set into the skin and just looked nice and airbrushed. It didn't set into my cracks underneath my eyes. I have pro's feet and any powder can really emphasize that and make it look really, really, really dry. So I was happy that this didn't create like any great cast or make me look chalky or cakey or anything like that. I really do like it. Now there isn't a scent to this, which I was really happy about, but it does have quite a bit of dust. That's all I can say. 
Um, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with gold, so you guys know I'm totally digging this. And then the container is just like your standard Laura Mercier type of container that you would um, have if you purchased theirs. Except this one's absolutely smaller because if you were to put them two together, the Laura Mercier is a lot chunkier. But as far as the style, it is pretty much the same. Now, if you guys want to know some more about, um, like, what the website has to offer as far as, like, their whipped lipsticks and all of their other cute little things that they're offering on their website, check down on the comment box below, or the description box below. All the information and the link will be there to where I picked this up. The shipping took longer than I was expecting around that I'm used to, but nothing major. Um, I wasn't, like, dying waiting for it. I did have to wait to try this out because I did want to give you guys like my first impressions before I started using this, but I'm definitely going to continue using this um, throughout the next month and see how I like it. And hopefully you guys will see this in my monthly favorites and I'm going to be disappointed if I not because I'm really digging this right now, the shade. So again, I did pick up yellow. If you guys have any questions and want to see more about this look, I will have a link right here for you guys. Um, I am doing a giveaway for the Jacqueline Hill palette, which I did use to create this look. Um, if you guys are interested, that'll be down in the comment box below. I am hosting that giveaway until about, I believe, the 31st of July, and then I'll be announcing the winner on the 1st. So definitely get, um, get in there to enter that um giveaway it is being hosted on my um instagram which is i am sasha fierce 411 go ahead and head over there and you can find out all the rules so like always guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with somebody who might find it useful and i'll see you guys in my next one bye